Hi, I'm Scout. And I'm Lori. The Colony Lodge is the heavy-duty flagship bat house from Bat Conservation and Management. We created a thick, seamless, UV-resistant exterior that protects enough wooden roof space to house about 150 to 200 bats. Like any modern bat house, the Colony Lodge is wide to absorb heat on sunny mornings, but is also tall so bats can move away from the roof if it gets too hot. The bat on the front and the slot in the back are vents. An overhang helps shield from predators. The landing area and all the crevices inside are well roughened in random directions so baby bats can easily keep a hold. Inside, there are two sizes of crevices and a special attic area that allows bats to get right next to the roof. Colony lodges come fully assembled in four colors, and so we'll show you what to do for the last bit of prep for installation. Regardless if you are attaching to a building, pole, or tree, we recommend using a mount kit because it actually adds another bonus roost crevice on the back of the colony lodge and gives them another space to cool off and still be protected from predators. The mount kit is an upper and lower mounting bracket, a perch panel, and some hardware. Lay out the brackets face down. Take the perch panel with the roughened side down, Square up one end with one of the brackets and secure with two screws near the corners. Repeat for the other mounting bracket. Now the mounting bracket is ready to install on a post or building using either lag bolts or outdoor deck screws depending on your kit. If you do use the mount, you'll want to take a utility knife and roughen up the area around the rear vent of the colony lodge so bats can roost on it if they want to. Put in lots of scratches, the more the merrier. But you don't need to scratch the top and bottom where the mount will cover. Time to attach the colony lodge to the mount. Square it up at the top, and because the shell is so tough, it might be helpful to pre-drill the holes a bit. These roofing screws need a quarter inch socket driver to set, and they have rubber washers to keep moisture from rotting out the top of the bat house, but don't over tighten them. Four long screws go in the top, and three shorter ones go into the bottom. For suggestions on siting and mounting your new bat house, online instruction manuals, or other batty how-to videos, visit our website, batmanagement.com. Remember, after you install your new bat house, it's tradition to say, Just, Just add, add bats. bats for good luck. <laughs>